The war in Ukraine is costing every house in the UK already. We're seeing the rise in energy prices, the rise in gas prices, the rise in food prices felt in homes across our country. And that's why today's NATO meeting in Madrid matters. Because what we're hoping to see out of this meeting is a decision to actually support Ukraine fully, to make sure that it doesn't just hold the line, but is actually able to determine its own future. Supporting Ukraine, putting them in a position where they can actually determine what the negotiations for peace will look like, is about making sure that this war ends soon. Because at the moment, what we're seeing is a war of attrition, a war that matches the huge size of Russia and its industrial capability against Ukraine. If what we're able to do at this meeting is to make sure that the industrial base of Europe, of the United States, of Canada, is matched and able to be deployed in Ukraine, we'll see that balance change. Now, the other element of this meeting that is so important is the application for membership by Finland and Sweden. And it's wonderful news that Turkey has lifted its objections and now supports their membership. But is extending NATO's border that far north is incredibly important to making sure that we have the industrial base and the military support of two very important countries. Sweden and Finland have demonstrated themselves time and again capable of defending themselves and supporting their allies. They have consistently demonstrated themselves as good allies, good friends and very important neighbours to many of us. So their application for membership is really important to us all. I'm looking forward to them joining NATO. I think it's really important for all of us and it's particularly important for Britain. That northern element, that northern defence alliance is what keeps us safe here at home. Now what we need now is a speedy resolution to the Ukraine war. We need President Zelensky to be able to negotiate from a position of strength that means that he can determine the future for the Ukrainian people. Their sovereignty, like ours, matters and we need to make sure that they can defend it.